I'd uh, quickly like to go over some of the new features and uh, enhancements we did in um, Enlighten Stage Lighting Controller version 2.23. Uh, one of the first changes we did was changing the way you load or patch a new fixture uh, just to make it a little bit more graphical. So you select the load patch new fixture just like you did before. Um, but you'll notice that the dialog looks a little bit different. You're able to now select from the manufacturer here, and then you will see all the available fixtures that you'd like. Then you can click on the available fixture and then uh, see a detail of the profile and then go in deeper and, and look at each color and gobo to make sure that, that you actually do want to patch this fixture. Uh, once you're ready to patch, you just uh, press the select current fixture patch and the procedure is exactly the same as is in previous versions. One other interesting feature we added was the ability to test a fixture profile uh, quickly. So if you had uh, would like to test an Axis 250, um, you can just click on that and then uh, uh, press the test fixture profile. And if the light is connected to the DMX interface and it is patched or uh, it's addressed to channel one, you can go through the channels and for instance and I can go change color and it will output my DMX values here uh, allowing me to to test the profile this is also helpful if you need to build a profile and you have only limited documentation or none at all you can go ahead and uh, write your your profile and test it at the same time in, in the same place so we feel this is a very powerful feature and uh, we wanted to add that to version 2.23 the next uh, feature I'm going to show you is we somewhat changed the color palette and as you see uh, when it first uh, starts up uh, you will still see the normal color palette that you're used to but then you're able to change the color palette modes. If I click this button here, the normal button, it'll take me to the RGB and basically this is just your basic colors, red, green, blue, orange, light orange, yellow, uh, cyan, magenta, so some of the, the more common uh, solid colors are here along with uh, some of the different color temperature whites that you may be able to use to uh, get better skin tones from your LED fixtures or your CMY color mixing fixtures. Those are, are, are pretty good to use. Uh, if I click it again, I'll get all my or, or the most popular Roscoe colors uh, with the numbers on the bottom. So we've uh, put in the Roscoe color gel um, colors here so that you're able to quickly uh, select fixtures and, and get them to as close as the Roscoe color as, as we can get with the available fixtures. And again, we did that for Lee. Uh, the Lee color filters are, are shown here and um, they're just cross-referenced from the Roscoe. And again, it just uh, helps people who have been in the theater and stage uh, area and they're familiar with certain color gels or used to using them. They can just simply click and um, get to those gels very quickly. One of the other changes we did is uh, the ability to select multiple groups. Um, groups are, are selected just by clicking any of these groups and these are automatically generated when the fixtures are patched which is the same in, in all the versions. Uh, for instance I click this Axis 250 group I go over here and I can see that it's selected all my Axis 250s. Well, the change we did is now if you would like to select your Axis 500s and your Axis LEDs, you can hold the control key down and select both and go over here and you're able to see um, both of them selected. I'm going to go ahead and change to uh, playback mode and show you another really great feature we added uh, per customer request. Uh, we, changes, we changed the way uh, the Go button operates. Uh, to make it easier and quicker and um, more streamlined to, to what uh, theater uh, users are used to. So if you've never seen it, this is a button group and basically these are, are cues or scenes and um, you can kind of think of this as a visual cue list of you know this is Q1, Q2, so on and so forth. So what this go button does now um, which is what it did before. If I press go, then it, it went ahead and activated my first scene. But instead of having to click to the next scene, all I have to do is press the go button and it'll go to the next scene. Go, go, 
go. Uh, one other thing I'd like uh, to note while we're here, um, if you would like to change the crossfade time between a, uh, two certain buttons, you can go ahead and click here. I'm going to enter two seconds, enter, and then when I press go, um, it will take two seconds to fade from the previous queue to the next queue. Okay, one of the last changes we did here was the ability to change the fade in and out time on any particular button. And the way to do that, you basically just right click, you select adjust fade in and fade out times. It'll activate that queue and it'll show you the, the cross fade option. It'll, it's either going to cross fade in or out. And there you can change the times for it to fade in and fade out. And basically you just close that. So uh, when you release it, you notice it's fading out. It's going to take three seconds to fade out. So those are the basic overview of some of the changes we've done in version 2.23 of Enlightened Stage Lighting Controller.